Today you've joined hundreds of established and emerging writers who are discovering ways to reach their writing goals and have fun by being more curious, creative, and productive. You're listening to Ann Croker, Writing Coach. This is episode 110. You want to be a writer who's read? Learn something new every day. The publishing world is evolving and no one knows quite when it will end and what it will look like. As a writer, you've probably been spotting new trends, new entry points, new expectations, new leaders, and new technology, wondering how can you possibly keep up with all that change. Well, you're not alone. Everyone's seeing all that new, all that change, and wondering how they can possibly keep up with it all. There's only one way to have a chance at keeping up, and it's the same way any of us has a chance at gaining an advantage and keeping an edge, and that's to learn something new every day. I know it's frustrating to hear that when all you want to do is write. I don't want to be figuring out fancy software and spending all that time on social media, you're thinking. I don't want to maintain a website and read about the industry all the time. Why can't I just be a writer who, you know writes. And it's true that a legal pad and a big pen should be more than enough to keep a writer churning out words, hitting daily word count goals, avoiding distraction. And I absolutely agree that a writer must write first and foremost. But if you want to get in the game, if you want to try to submit to literary journals or see your byline in a magazine or run a freelance writing business or pitch agents, you'll have to learn some new things. I dare say it's best to learn a little something new every day, at least on average. If you have a growth mindset, like we talked about last time, you know that nothing's fixed and forever. You and I can learn new skills and grow if we set our minds to it and implement or integrate what we learn. So that shouldn't be a concern. You can teach an old dog new tricks. It helps to be a lifelong learner who's curious and creative because with those traits, you'll follow the spark of curiosity to dig for the information and training that you want or need and follow up when you unearth another layer of skills you can develop or knowledge you can gain. You'll poke around to figure out who to ask. You'll research which is the best free or paid course to sign up for. You'll subscribe to podcasts with the best information and watch YouTube videos with easy-to-follow tutorials. You'll get books to read in line at the post office and audiobooks to listen to on a long drive or while exercising. You'll save up to attend a premier conference or an intimate writing workshop or apply for a grant or fellowship. And doing this, you'll learn a lot of different things. You'll read and learn about the industry. You'll discover ways to respond to those changes as a writer, You won't waste time on old methods. You can quickly pivot, as they say, and adjust your plan to suit what editors, agents, and ultimately readers are looking for. This doesn't mean you abandon your vision and write for the market, but it's good to be aware and thoughtful about what you see around you. Learn in the area of content, and you'll collect ideas for your nonfiction projects. If you write on a particular topic, you'll have a chance at becoming an expert in your field if you learn something new every day. If you write fiction, there's no end to what you could learn because characters need jobs and hobbies. They need to visit interesting places and struggle with illnesses. You can learn about almost anything and pull it into your work. You'll write better when you learn more or different techniques and implement those each time you put pen to paper. When you're making lists of things you want to learn, add craft to your list and develop your own personal writing course based on skills you want to gain. Technology scares a lot of writers. If you pick the thing you feel will make the biggest difference in your life as a writer, though, you can focus on that. And each day, learn a little something new about how it works. Watch a tutorial and implement the steps to make the system do what you want. And you'll feel so empowered when you do. And little by little, you can learn another system and then another. And you'll have to, because there's always going to be a new one coming around the bend. You'll master Instagram just in time to see a video-centric social media app rise up as the next best thing. If you're an autodidact, committed to learning something new every day, none of this is going to scare you. You'll break it down into steps to methodically, incrementally gain all you need to take your work to the next level, and you'll get in the game. 
by staying abreast of changes and learning how professionals approach their work, hearing from gatekeepers how their process is changing, figuring out business strategies, all of that can move you toward your goals and you'll be ahead of others who are still scratching out a draft on that yellow legal pad. If they don't learn at least one simple technology tool that will get that draft into the hands of others, that legal pad is going to sit on their desk or slip into a drawer and never see the light of day. Now, if push comes to shove and you only have 30 minutes free on a given day, and you must choose between learning something new or writing, then write. You must write. Prioritize that over everything because you have to have something written to be read. Don't use learning as an excuse to procrastinate from the work of writing. Don't let learning distract you from the work of writing. But if you aren't learning, you're falling behind others in the industry. If you want to be a writer who's read, you'll have to learn and keep learning. And you must act on what you learn. Use the knowledge and implement the skills you learn so readers can find you and read you. After all, isn't that the main reason any of us sits down to do the work? To be read. I'm Ann Croker cheering you on as a writing coach in your ear. Everywhere we may meet, at my website, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, here on this podcast, or even in person, I'm always looking for ideas to share with you that will help you achieve your writing goals and have fun by being more curious, creative, and productive. Thank you for listening.